time for another show, and this is another week later, and time goes so quickly. But I know if I don't know if you guys do what I do, but when I sit back and watch TV, there's a bowl of chips or popcorn or something, and I love to eat. Well, our next guest is going to talk about that, and she turned that it turned into a problem. So stay with us and find out why. Be sure to call a friend and ask them to tune in. Call us right now. Our prayer lines are open. Please join the body of believers. God put in my heart five years ago to produce this show, and it's about uniting the body of believers. And every show, we're going to reach out and touch you guys and see if we can't unite you as a body of believers, one by one. As in Ephesians 4, verses 4 through 6, we should be one body, praising our one Lord and our one God. It's not about where you go to church or if you go to church or, you know, it's about do you believe? Have faith. Believe in God. Become a believer. If God is in your heart, the world changes. Your whole life changes. And you'll be so happy because you're going to be full of God's love. I mean, how much easier does it get, you guys? But join the body of believers. So together we can all say, I believe. <laughs> Thank you, believers, for allowing us into your home, and I hope that you can enjoy the next 30 minutes, and I want you to keep tabs with that phone number on the screen, because if you need prayer or you have a problem or something that our guest is going to say that touches your heart, pick up the phone and call. It is live right now, but if not, if you want to watch the whole show, don't forget to call after the show is over. Well, I'd like you all to, to welcome this guest that I have next, because she's going to talk to us about food. And not how good it can be, but how bad it can be. Let's welcome Miss Diane Fox. Hey, Miss Diane. Glad to be here. <laughs> nice to have you here. All right, you're with Celebrate Recovery. I am. Now, I always think of Celebrate Recovery like probably half the world with alcohol. They do. Most people just assume that Celebrate Recovery is about alcohol and drugs, mm -hmm. and they think, well, that's not for me. Mm -hmm. And I can tell from my experience that I went just to volunteer. I didn't think I had any issues. Uh -huh. You know, that's a, an ongoing joke within Celebrate Recovery, because <laughs> once you start the program, you realize you need it as much as anybody else. Really? Um, I went there to support a family member. Uh -huh. uh, I didn't have any problems, but at that time, I weighed 280 pounds. Really? And it's hard to believe. I know. Um, Celebrate Recovery helps you deal with your emotional issues. It helps you deal with stress, anxiety, and... I need to go. <laughs> you do need to go. Um, but the thing of it is, is most of us feel like that we can pray to God about big things. Mm -hmm. Financial crisis, job changes, mm -hmm. uh, death, just death, mm -hmm. and those kind of things. We don't think about how... We can pray to him about what we think is our little things. Mm -hmm. But overeating yourself to 100 pounds overweight is no longer a little thing. Wow. Um, I was a diabetic. I was on a CPAP machine. Oh. And all of those things as a result of the weight gain. Wow. And Celebrate Recovery showed me that I could ask God to do this for me, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the hard part was to actually let him. <laughs> yeah. and it's that's, always hard to let God it take is, over. It is, it is, but that's where uh, the weight loss and the healing started. Now, why did you gain that much weight? What was your... It was just life happened. Over a period of 10 years, we had deaths in our family. We had um, a church that the, we were a big part of that failed, and a Christian school that failed, and all these oh, emotional goodness, things yes, yes. that happened to us. Mm -hmm. and. Over time, you don't even realize you're doing it, mm -hmm. but you're... It slips up on you. It does. It really does. And you just wake up one day 100 pounds overweight. Yeah. Yeah. Can't yeah. fit into the clothes. I mean, exactly. I know I have that problem now, but no, <laughs> I'm not 100 pounds overweight, but if I, if mm -hmm. I let it go... Yeah. Because a lot of us reach out to food 
You know, like some people reach out to a bottle. A lot of us, I'm one, I get candy bars and I just, Mm -hmm. in a bag of chips is a whole bag, you know, and I get really stressed out and I'm just... Mm -hmm. (laughs) And we don't even realize we're doing it. No, we don't. And I talk to a lot of, mostly women, Uh uh, but most of the people I talk to admit Mm -hmm. that they're emotional eaters or stress eaters. Yes. And they don't realize that they can turn to God for that instead. Yes, yes. And that's what Celebrate Recovery pointed me in that direction. Wow. Now, how did, are you the founder of your chapter? No, I'm just a participant and a volunteer at Celebrate Recovery oh, okay. at uh, Kodak United Methodist in Kodak, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Celebrate Recovery actually started 25 years ago uh-huh. in California. Pastor Rick Warren and uh-huh. Pastor John Baker founded yes. Celebrate Recovery 25 years ago with 43 people. And Look now it's in 29,000 churches across the country, that around many? the world. Wow. Yes. Yeah, we've yes. had Celebrate Recovery on before, Miss yes. Glenda, and she, she talked about her chapter, but mm-hmm. I didn't know it was in that many churches. Yes. She probably said it, and I could not remember it. Mm-hmm. Wow. So there's a chapter all anywhere close yes. by. Yes, you can go to CelebrateRecovery.com, and there is a... Um, site where you can put in your zip code and it will tell you all the Celebrate Recovery meetings in the area. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are four or five that are here locally and around Pigeon Forge in Kodak, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Uh, There's plenty in uh, other areas too. Right. And are the meetings fun or? Well, um, there are AA meetings and other great uh, 12-step groups. But Celebrate Recovery is 12 steps with Jesus as our higher power. Amen. And um, everybody that comes can come in confidence, and it's a safe place that they can share. Mm -hmm. Um, They can come in and remain anonymous if they like. Mm -hmm. Uh, But Celebrate Recovery, we created a logo. It's a heart, Mm -hmm. the Celebrate Recovery heart. We're going to put that on the screen. We're going to put that on the screen. And it shows you all the issues that people at Celebrate Recovery are recovering from. Mm -hmm. Everything from marital issues to overeating to job loss. Depression, uh, I saw. Depression, anxiety, fear. I Mm -hmm. mean, it's a huge list of things. All our emotions. Um, Stressed out caregivers. Mm -hmm. um, That's a good one. Suicide loss survivors, Mm -hmm. grief. All of these things can be addressed through the 12 steps that celebrate your recovery. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you, Ms. Diane, um, at the meetings, if I'm going there for food addiction, Mm -hmm. am I in the same room with the people that are going there for alcohol? It depends on the size of the local group that you attend. Um, We sometimes, we try to keep the group small and Mm -hmm. intimate. Um, But a lot of times we'll have one for what we call life struggles and one for chemical dependency. Mm -hmm. So it it depends on the number of people that are there. Mm -hmm. But it all comes down to really what is our drug of choice that we're using to deal with our emotional issues. Mm -hmm. And there are so many. There are so many. And like you say, food is is a common one. I sometimes call it comfort food. I change the name on it when I want to eat this extra large chocolate candy bar. Chocolate used to be my weakness. It sort of still is, but I got it under control. Mm -hmm. Now I'm dealing with potato chips and pretzels. (laughs) (laughs) But there's always something. Yeah. Well, I had to learn to get healthy, Mm -hmm. you know. Um, I did a weight loss program and I lost 100 pounds in about a year. Oh, we're going to put that before and after picture. That's I have to put that up yeah, there. Yeah, it, it just really surprised. It still shocks me to this day. And that's been five years ago, and I've kept wow. the weight off, Praise which is God. really surprising. That's the good part. That's the miraculous part, yes, I believe. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, how did you lose it? I uh, just learned to eat healthy and to exercise and practice healthy habits. Oh, so you didn't do any medical thing? No you didn't surgery. join any magic club or no. any exercise? You just went ahead and took care of it yourself? I did. With God's, With God's help. With God's help. And yes. that is amazing. We need to give her a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> when you said 100 pounds of weight, that was hard for me to fathom yeah. looking at you now. My yeah. goodness. And you, and you look healthy. Well, thank you. Because a lot of people, when they lose that much weight, they kind of... Uh, <laughs> You know, they miss it, so they're kind of fighting that little devil that's yeah. always there. Well, it's just like any, um, you know, you don't like to think of yourself as a food addict. Mm-hmm. But when you're using food for comfort and for stress, See, I, wouldn't wanna, is, I wouldn't want to call myself a food addict. Well, no, I don't no, think no, so. No, but you think about that, that's really, um, I looked up I'm a the, food lover. <laughs> yes, I looked up the definition of uh, substance abuse, and it's anything to excess. 
Well, yeah, that's true. So you think, you can kind of think about it. Nobody really wants to admit to being a food addict. And you have to admit it when you go there. You have to say that, yeah. that word, yeah. right? Well, let's see, I'd be like you. I'd be, but you went there to lose your weight. You didn't, you, you didn't start the losing process before and then just... No, I went to Celebrate Recovery just to volunteer. To volunteer. To volunteer, and I thought I'd take the class and, you know, mm -hmm. support some friends and family. And Some little angel got you there. Yes. Because <laughs> that really saved your life. Because when you're that much overweight, mm -hmm. I mean, your organs, I mean, your skin, mm -hmm. everything. Like you say, your breathing. Yes. Um... Since I lost the 100 pounds, I no longer have signs of diabetes. Amen. I Hallelujah. No Hallelujah. I no yes. longer have to use that CPAP machine to sleep at night. Look at that. Yeah, and so, you know, God can do lots of things. He can do anything. Yes. Anything. That, and you're a strong testimony to that. I appreciate that. Now, viewers out there, I want you to listen to what Miss Diane is sharing with you because you think of addiction, I do, of alcohol or drugs, you know, or pornography, something like that. But to think of food uh, kind of gets you a little bit. It's like, no, no, not, not me, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is exactly. no different than the other yes. addicts, you know. Exactly. But food, the devil uses all kinds of things, and, and he'll get you with all kinds of things because he wants to self-destruct you that way. And you're a living testimony. So, and you volunteer now there all the time? I do. I volunteer there now. We've been there for five years, well, almost six years now. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Right. And do you need more volunteers? or? Um, really, people, when they come and they volunteer, they find out just like I did, that they needed it too. Mm -hmm. And so their mm -hmm. lives are helped, and then right. they end up helping others. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss Diane, for sharing so much. And I want to encourage you believers out there, as I always do, to listen to what you just heard and put it in your heart. Because if those words aren't meant for you directly, they probably are, you listen to them because you might know someone that needs this information. Someone that maybe you don't even think you, you just know them for so long that that's the way they look. And um, maybe this is a word of wisdom that you can share with them. So you can be a helper for a Celebrate Recovery Project just simply by sharing this program or sharing the information or calling me and getting the name for Miss Diane. I'm, do you mind if we share no, that's your fine. number? Yes. Okay. I want to thank you all for watching and sharing, and I want you to understand that God loves you. You guys all call me and say, I don't feel this and I don't feel that. Don't worry about it. God loves you, and he's going to take care of you. Look at that before and after picture of Miss Diane. He took care of you. Yeah. <laughs> God is so good. And all you have to do is say, God, I love you, and I'm a believer. We'll be right back with more right after this. Our prayer lines are open right now. Please call at 865-680-1891. 865-680-1891. Don't go away. You're watching the I Believe TV program. Call me or text me. Don't go away. There's more to come. Okay, guys. Instead of just picking up that phone and calling me, there's another way you can reach me. Text me. But you, if you text me, it's kind of simple. Just text me your need and tell me what time it's best time to call you back and I promise you I will. It's the new technology on hand and I'm getting with the program, so you do too, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, Pastor Donnie, I have to admit, when I was listening to Miss Diane, mm -hmm. I love food. Yeah. Oh, it no. loves me, it sticks <laughs> with me. <laughs> and I tried to diet, but I never looked at food yes. as an addiction. There's so many things. Really, it's anything that we become dependent toward, you know, that we lean toward and become dependent upon. I love the program Celebrate Recovery mm -hmm. because it's not limited to anything. It's any struggle that you need to recover from. You yeah. know, and they mentioned about it, some grief or, you know, uh, those kind of things too. Just, just dealing with pressures and stress. Right. It is such a great program for that, you know. And uh, being Bible-based, of course, pulling mm -hmm. out of that. I mean, those, every program is a good program for our lives 
But when you add the element of God into it, mm -hmm. the Bible tells us that the anointing breaks the yokes. Mm -hmm. Well, we know what a yoke is. Mm -hmm. It's a bondage in our life. And that's what mm -hmm. this is. This is celebrating being delivered from that bondage. Mm -hmm. So other programs are great, but without the anointing, mm -hmm. the bondage is still there, although they can feel better about it and free about it. And I think that's why some of those programs, and I don't not knock them because they're great programs and they do great things, but, but they'll always confess, well, I'm an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. And it's because they never get the yoke broke. Mm -hmm. But we don't do that. We don't sit around. I don't tell people I'm a sinner. No. I'm not a sinner anymore. No, I've been delivered of that and set exactly. free and celebrate recovery yeah. the same way. If you've been set free from it, you're not that anymore. Right. I've been given a new body, a new Christ Jesus. I, I got a new mind and everything right. now. That's what we do. We become transformed in our lives by renewing our mind. And yes. that's what it's all about. And, it, and a lot of this is the power of the mind. You know, oh, that's yeah. what gets us into depression. That's yes. what gets us mm -hmm. into any form of addiction, mm -hmm. anxiety. It's oh, yeah. all in the mind. That's where the enemy tries to work on us. You know, as Christians especially, it's the battleground of the mind. Yes. I don't have addictions. You're not going to get me to go do drugs. And, and I might feel like murdering people someday. But, you know, it's not, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. You know, it's the Spirit of the Lord but inside of me. <laughs> but, but, you know, uh, we see that in our lives. And, and yeah. that's what it is. It's the battleground of the mind. That's right. constant bombarding of the enemy and the way right. he works with our minds. That's why we got to be trained and equipped and learn how to uh, uh, combat that, you know. That's right. The things in our now, life. Pastor Donnie, um, like I've mentioned to my viewers many, many times, I answer those phones. Mm -hmm. And when you were talking about the battles of the mind, I have had this past week, everybody just, I mean, every caller, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I write them down so I can pray over everybody. Every one of them was um, something to do with the mind. Yeah. A lot of them were depressed. Mm -hmm. A lot of them were saying, God doesn't love me. I'm right. not good enough for God. Yes. You know, the devil gets at us through our minds so Most many definitely. different ways. Most definitely. Um, some of them were saying that the world is so, they're watching TV and they're getting actually scared right. of watching the news because they don't understand the end times. They don't understand mm -hmm. how they're going to survive. Right. And, they, and one lady called me and said, crying, that she, and I told her I would mention on the show with no names, that she was crying because she didn't feel strong enough to fight. If, if it was life or death, she right. would deny Christ. She'd feel she would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how can we comfort our audience out there? Because there's so much of that. Yeah, well, the Bible tells us not only be spirit-filled, but to walk in the spirit, you know, and I've been listening to some things about that. And, you know, it's living that life in the spirit. When you, when you do that, you know, you're trusting the Lord, you're listening to the Spirit of the Lord, you know, inside of you. You've been uh, filled with the Spirit, you know, just He's living in your life every day. You're, yes. you're, you're following that. You know, God is able to keep that which I have committed unto Him. That's what He tells okay. me. That's yes, what His that's Word says, right? Yes. God is able to keep that which I have committed unto Him. That's what, that's mm -hmm. what Paul said. So, in, in essence, if I dedicate my life to God and give it to Him and put it in His hands, mm -hmm. then it's not my responsibility anymore. It's not my life. I've turned my life over to over. God. Mm -hmm. So therefore, He will keep that which I have committed unto Him. Mm -hmm. So in those moments of times, it's not the mind itself is probably not even going to be, it's going to be so, so fragile at that moment anyway that the Spirit of the Lord is what will come out at that moment, mm -hmm. and it's not going to deny God. Mm -hmm. So in that moment, I encourage people, as long as you're living in the Spirit, you're taking in that Word of God, you got to remember in those moments, the Spirit of the Lord is what's going to take over at that time. Right. Because the enemy, the Bible says that when, when the enemy comes in like a flood, God will lift up a standard against them. Exactly. And that's what they have to trust in the Lord. Trust that's in the Lord. Trust in the and Lord. And that's, that's what I told them. Because yes. we, we are living in such confusing mm -hmm. times. Yes. And so many, and but that's what these people, the terrorists, that's what they want to do to oh, us. Yeah. They fear. want to put us in fear right. and at, full of anxiety. Exactly. exactly. And, and we just need to pray to God. Mm -hmm. And I, I tried to tell her, but she was like, well, no, you don't understand reality. You yeah. know? And I said, well, reality is God is there yeah. God is because mm -hmm. she was saved so I said God is in you yeah so just dwell with him mm -hmm. get to know him become familiar with him yeah. we use the verse so, in second Timothy about that where God's not given us a spirit of fear and a lot of people think that's a an impartation of a spirit in their life of fear you know an invading mm -hmm. of the spirit mm -hmm. but it's not the word there doesn't mean a spirit of fear is in something that's overtaking my life it mm -hmm. means disposition of fear God's right. not given us an attitude of fear or a disposition of fear, mm -hmm. but he has given us an attitude of power, power, love, and yes. sound mind. Yes, and sound mind. Yes. yes. Thank you, Pastor Donnie. Um, I, before, before I take over the camera as by myself, yeah. I want you to tell the people about your 
workshop? Well, once again, we're doing this workshop, and it's a spiritual gifts workshop. So it's learning about all the spiritual gifts that God gives mm -hmm. us, which is be transformed by the renewing of the mind. So it's exactly. helping us to grow in the things of the Lord, uh -huh. uh, to gain his wisdom and knowledge of the word and these gifts that have been given to us. Mm -hmm. These were gifts that the Holy Spirit imparted into the body of Christ mm -hmm. for the ministry. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about, equipping the saints for the work of the ministry. You know, Amen. anybody can be a part of it. It'll transform their life. They'll be ministered to. They'll receive ministry. Uh, they'll do some ministry. Believe it or not, they will. And it's nice. Don't, don't, I know. Look. I don't want them to fear and think they're going to stand up and prophesy yeah, or anything scared. like that. It's nothing like that. No. It's all very personal, but they'll be so blessed. Everybody can interact as, as the level they feel they yes. want to. Yes. So if they want to stretch further and do little things that are more tough, they can. If they want to sit back and participate and watch or, or be the individual that the other person is working with, mm -hmm. you know, everybody will have it's a chance a to be ministered thing. to. Uh, they'll leave refreshed, blessed, and, and confirmed in a lot of things. And, and I, it's a great night just to get together. It's July 23rd uh, this year coming up. It's coming up fast. I know. So we want them to get registered. It's going to be at the uh, Severville, Severville uh, Civic, Civic Center. Center. Beautiful place, mm -hmm. great facility, lots of room for us yep. to be there. But we need them to register so they reserve yes. their spot. That's the key, So guys. it doesn't cost. Register. Yeah, it's free. It's free. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I spent a lot of money for a course like this. So I know I that it's, it's worth it. And it's got a lot of material, but it'll bless them. Just go to the website. So your website and my website, we can register there. Amen. Uh, there's a link to it. And you can register right online so you don't have to go nowhere on your mobile phone. You can do that as well. Oh, yeah, the uh, smartphones. Or they can, they can call us and we can get it set up for that way. But we need them to register to reserve their spot. Thank you, Pastor Donnie. All right, now I'm going to address you viewers out there because you, I answer those phone calls and you are asking for prayer. But there's other needs that you are calling me for and you approach me with, I don't know if you can help me with this. Well, you see, I want you to know, first off, it's not me. It's not about me. It is about our Heavenly Father. And the fact that you sit there and watch this show, and most of you are just flipping the channels and you just happen to light there. It's not just happen. It's, it's a divine intervention. It's a divine appointment that for some reason, whether you're watching the secular channels that we're on or whether you're watching the Christian television network that we also play on, that you happen to be motivated by something that we said, one of the guests said, and don't be shy about asking for that need because God put it in your heart. And I will do, I and my staff will do everything we can to fulfill those needs. And fulfilling those needs could be networking you with another ministry, giving you some prayer time, connect and ask, inviting you to Pastor Donnie's church in Cosby, Tennessee, or just coming to the workshop. But the main thing is we're here to help you. God is using this ministry. This is a global television ministry. We go all over the world. So if you have a smartphone, a laptop, a tablet, uh, Roku, I don't know all the other ways to communicate out there, but I know that technology is being used in the right way when you share this program or you use that technology to reach out to get God to help you, God to answer your prayer, God to touch your heart. And then I need you guys out there as well to network, share the program. We're going to put, if you go to my website, gwenford.org, there's a TV schedule there, and you can see all the different times, all the different ways that the show is on. But you can also request to be a volunteer, request for prayer, send us an email, tell us you want to appear on the show, and share your story, because everyone has a story. Every one of us has a story. It doesn't have to be about addiction. It doesn't have to be violent. It can be just that you had a wonderful childhood and God loves you so much and you want to share that love. God is so good and God is so amazing. We need you believers out there to join as the, the mission statement that I have, the book of Ephesians. Be united in the body of believers. And so one day you can say like Pastor Donnie and I are going to say, I, I believe. believe. God put in my heart five years ago to produce this show and it's about uniting the body of believers and every show we're going to reach out and touch you guys and see if we can't unite you as a body of believers one by one as in Ephesians 4 verses 4 through 6 we should be one body praising our one Lord and our one God it's not about where you go to church or if you go to church or you know it's about do you believe have faith Believe in God. 
become a believer. If God is in your heart, the world changes, your whole life changes, and you'll be so happy because you're going to be full of God's love. I want you to join our body of believers. Yes, I'm pointing at that camera and I'm catching you right there. I want you to join our body of believers. So it's real simple. Call me, email me, or text me. I mean, how much easier does it get, you guys? But join the body of believers. So together we can all say, I believe. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, I can't believe it, but 30 minutes just flew by. And I want you to know that I have really appreciate you allowing us to be in your in living room or in your bedroom or in your car or however you're watching the show. But more importantly, I appreciate the opportunity to have God's word touch your heart. Let God touch your heart. And if you don't know God, two things. Pick up the phone and ask for prayer so you can get to know God. Or better than that, just simply put your hands up. And if you can, get on your knees, put your hands up and say, God, I love you. I want you to be my Lord and Savior. I want you to be in my life. I want you to take over my life. And when you do that, you will be a changed person. God will not say no. You don't have some of you call and say, I've been so bad. I don't know if God listens to me. I don't know how to pray. I don't even know if God would even think about me. God knows you. He thinks about you and he wants you. He wants you to say, come into my heart. Now, how hard is that, you guys? And then you're one of the believers. You're, uh, you're joining the body. You have to continue reading the word, studying. Just get that thirst of the Lord in your spirit. Because once he's in there, you've heard it time and time again from the guests. He will open doors. He will give you peace. He will give you just so much love and so much comfort that you will be a new person. And people will see that in you. So share the love of our Lord. And I hope to see you next week, same time, same channel. God bless. Our prayer lines are open right now. Please call at 865-680-1891. Our prayer lines are open right now. Please call at 865-680-1891. 865-680-1891. Okay, guys, instead of just picking up that phone and calling me, there's another way you can reach me. Text me. But you, if you text me, it's kind of simple. Just text me your need and tell me what time it's best time to call you back. And I promise you I will. It's the new technology on hand and I'm getting with the program, so you do too, okay? Join us next week, same time, and please don't forget to call a friend. Now you can watch the show again on creativechristiannetwork.com. Thank you for watching I Believe with Dr. Gwen Ford.